good morning i think today is the first time i've managed to get like six to eight hours of sleep right off the bat because if you know i normally stay for three to five days when i'm in japan and then i'll like probably get three hours of sleep a night i did wake up every hour but I managed to somehow get at least six to eight hours of sleep. It feels nice. The first thing I did when I woke up was look at food places to eat for breakfast. I worked for a bit, wearing the same outfit as yesterday. Um, didn't put on shoes yet. <laughs> now I'm about to head out and maybe look for some coffee because I definitely haven't had any coffee yet. <laughs> Honestly, so hot, it's disgusting. And I heard August is the hottest month, so this isn't even peak hot. I think this is my first time seeing the golden poop. I genuinely didn't have anything planned for today um, and I just had breakfast, my asadoha. So I'm, now I'm just taking a walk by the Sugita River. And yeah, I'm so sweaty. <laughs>
getting too hot so I had to braid my hair and then had to pick up a few things like sunscreen because I forgot sunscreen for my body. Look at my egghead. Got my umbrella. Check me from the sun. The sun rays here are no joke. It is insane. Back at the park. There's literally no words for me to describe how hot it is. Um, it's only noon too and I'm a little beat right now. I can't decide if I want to go back and take a nap but then I'm so sweaty which means I'm probably have to take a shower too or if I should just like bear it chill around in the hotel room for maybe a few hours before looking for dinner so the final verdict is I need to shower it is disgusting how every section of my body just feels like some sort of moisture Ugh. But once I get refreshed, I am going to go back to the Asadusa Shrine, maybe find some small eats. I'm pretty much ready to head back out. I just changed my camera lens protector. I don't know if you can see, but my old one has a ton of scratches on it. So I originally got this from Loft um, the last time I was in Japan, and I figured I'd just get the same one again. And then before I head out, I just want to show you guys what I also put in my bag. In my bag already, I have an emergency mask if I needed it, my wallet, and my passport. And then other things that I try to put in there, if I just bought this umbrella, it's supposed to be for for UV and the rain and it's just small enough to fit in my bag so that's perfect. I had to go to Daiso to get these. I don't know maybe it's because I am Canadian and I'm so used to like just like chill cool weather but I sweat so much here it's disgusting. Thank god I brought an extra deodorant too but I got these cleansing wipes to just kind of like refresh throughout the day. Then I also have a mini deodorant with me because I don't want to be that person that just like not only am I sticky and gross but also smell like shit. I also got a mini dry shampoo from Canada to bring with me. I don't know how the girls here do it. Their hair always looks so perfect, but then for me, especially if I'm sweating, it's gonna be so greasy so quickly. And then just a pack of oil blotting sheet, my rich bitch lip balm. This taste is filled with all the medication I could possibly need. Allergy, headaches, migraines, when I get bad period cramps, um, gravel, you name it, it's probably in here. I also have this like super cute sample size from MAC. It's just a pressed powder foundation. This is for me to just blot and touch up throughout the day. It's so small, so it doesn't really take a lot of space. My portable charger, because if I'm vlogging, my phone is definitely dying. And then the old packaging from Velour's LTD collection. Um, I'm using it as a coin pouch here. I have been looking to find a coin pouch because they still use coins here. And I am very slow at figuring out my coins. It's 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 not that hard, but it is hard for me. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I've been on the hunt to look for a cute coin purse. So maybe in the next few days, I'll probably find one. I did braids again. So here's a quick outfit check. And then I'm gonna go look for some food. <laughs> I'm just going back to the Sumida River for a walk. I basically had a really early dinner at 4 and I wasn't sure if I was going to go out and get food again or if I would not have the energy. So I got like a vegetable juice and the tomato sandwich from 7-Eleven. So I'm told I can move in tomorrow or like tonight at 12 a.m. But I already paid for a, my hotel for tonight. Like I wish they told me sooner. Um, so I'm going to move in tomorrow morning, which means I have a bit more time to clean up everything. But it's honestly looking so chaotic. Here I am exposing myself. Um, so I'm probably just going to teach a share and clean this. So I'm pretty much all cleaned up and ready to go. I have my clothes for tomorrow. Basically the same outfit that I wore today because I only had it on for a few hours. And then tomorrow it's going to be roughly about 20-25 minute walk to the apartment. I need to go get the keys and then basically just clean up, unload everything. And I kind of wish I didn't walk as much as I did today. I am so tired. My whole body is sore. Um, and I was just done packing my suitcase and I didn't realize, or no, I actually know. No, 
and I forgot how heavy my suitcase actually was so yeah I'm kind of regretting it so I'm just gonna edit today's vlog and chill a little bit get some rest it's still really early I'm just so tired because I've been up since 6 a.m. But I'm so excited for tomorrow. I think I'm going to be meeting up some of our 10 p.m. curfew fam. And then I'm just excited to show you the place that I'm moving into. I hope I hope it ends up looking good and like the pictures and I didn't get catfished because I locked in like two months worth of rent. Thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow.